Hello, dear friends. Uh, welcome back. So we are uh, into the module called Abacus for Beginners. We are learning Abacus basics. <laughs> In the previous video, we looked at some tools of Abacus which are used to create different kinds of geometries. Just like we saw how uh, how we can create a 3D model of an I beam. Similarly, we looked at a plate with holes. How can we use different types of tools like move? Like in instead of move, we have an option like translate here. If for copying, we have an option of linear pattern. Similarly, we have a mirror option to you know mirror one part to the other. If we have a symmetrical geometry to create. So now continuing that, we are looking at some more examples, interesting examples. Here is one of them tapered beam you know this kind of beam uh, if it's a simply supported for example of span 5 meter if it's subjected to some udl or a point load this type of beam is used it's a it has, it's a concept based on uniform spring beam so we have a maximum movement at the center and minimum movement at the supports right for a simply supported beam, for instance. So, what we do is for flexural design, we give more cross sectional area or the more depth at the center span because of more movement there. And we taper that towards the supports because there is lesser movement as compared to the center span. Understood? So, this case, how do we create this kind of a beam in uh, Bacchus? So let's get started. This is your uh, GUI. So go to the part as usual. Let's name it as uh, taper tape beam. It's very simple. So here you already are you are already familiar with these tools: deformable, solid, extrusion. You have to use an extrusion option here, as we have been doing. Let's assume a grid size of 5000 or 6, 7000 because we are using mm, so we have to create a length of span of 5000 mm. So to create a grid of 7000, we go continue. Now, let me create elevation. It's easy to create this elevation, then extrude along the third direction by giving width width is not given here we'll assume that as 0.3 meter understood so let's create this geometry i'll draw a line here draw. i'll go to line i'll draw a line i will dimension it as uh, 5000 see it's 5000 now I will draw a line here. It is. I can draw it for any dimensions, then go to dimension and dimension it. It has to be uh, 300 mm. So let's go 300 mm. Now, another line here. It has to be 300 again. We redimension it. Or, as I've already uh, made you understand in the previous video, we could have used copy this to this position, or we could have used a mirror this line to here by creating a mirror line in between. But let's do it this way. So I need to create another line here at the center of 500 ml. I'll dimension it 500 ml. Now let me join these like this from here to here and what I'll do is I'll delete this one. So my this section whole section should be closed. Now it's all closed. Now if I sit down the, that means it's done. At our dialog box it says what is the depth in the third direction. Third direction means along the width. This is the longitudinal section of the beam longitudinal uh, you know axis of the beam this 5000 mm 
So what we'll do is we'll create a depth of 300 mm. That is the width of the beam will be 300 mm. Okay. Now see, we have created a beam of uniform strength. When we analyze it, of course, but we have created the geometry of tapered beam that has a more width at the center and it is tapering, it's tapering from there to the end. Understood. So let's create another part. <laughs> let's go to, so this is a kind of a bullet. Here it's uh, only two dimensional. It has a tire of 20 mm. If you see it in, you know, in this direction along the cross section, it's circular in cross section, solid circular of 20 mm dia. It has a length of 60, 60 mm up to the nose and it has a conical nose of 30 mm length. So let's do it. We'll create a path. We'll call it as bullet. A bullet of now. But the thing is, it has to be circular, right? So we will not be able to do it that way. So cancel, escape, cancel it. Let me use revolution. Deformable revolution. You will name it as bullet. Okay. Now this becomes the center line of that beam. And I have to create a plane here that if I rotate about this axis will create that, you know, that cylindrical geometry or the conical geometry of that cross. So what I'll do is I'll draw a line here. This is the center of that plate. Remember, center line of that plate. Draw a plate, uh, line from here to here of equal it this should be equal to 10 mm understood this should be equal to 10 mm because the total bullet die is 20 mm now i'll draw a line from here to here this has to be if i go to the dimensions this has to be 60 60 mm got it then i need another line from here to here I'll write it. then I'll go here. I need this. I need uh, I'll go to the dimensioning of this part. This has to be 30 m 30 m. I'll delete this this in between line. Done. Done. Now I will join this to this. I don't need this line for now. Oh. I'll delete this one. I have to delete. Delete. Or I can use trim option. Trim. I'll have to close this section like this. Done. It's saying it's not closed here. Since there is that additional line that I had created, so I need to delete that. First, I'll delete. That is deleted now. If I just say done. Then add construction line since I have deleted the construction line also. So what I do is I can go back, back. Now the construction line is there. What I'll do is I'll join these. I'll first delete this, not the construction line. I'll have to delete. So what I'll do here is trim option, 
client is deleted. Now I'll join this to this. Now it's close. Now if I revolve this plane about this center axis, it will create the geometry that I wanted. Now if I say done, yeah. What angle you want to revolve at? I want to revolve with 360 degree. Right. Okay. See, that was this was the construction angle, that line. I created a plane that could revolve about that construction line. And it created a blip like this. Do you want to measure the dimensions here also? Interesting. How do we do that? We go to tools, query. We go to distance. From here, here's a node. If I click on this node, now this was the first entity. What is the second entity? Select the second. Second is this. Where is the dimension? Here. Distance 60. See the bottom? 60. This was 60 ml and this is 30. Okay, let's look at another geometry. Let's create another part. Part 3. The geometry is interesting. The geometry is a spring. Helical spring. It has a diameter of 25. Correct? 20 mm is the pitch. That's the distance between these two. These two, you know, helix. And uh, let me assume diameter of this wire as 1 mm. How do we do that? Now here you will understand. You have understood extrusion for creating other geometries apart from these like the revolution. We created a cylindrical geometry. Now we'll use sweep. Or let's go with the revolution only. We'll use revolution to create. Uh, there's a provision of sweep also, but that we'll see later. Here we will create this helical spring using revolution. So let's call it as a spring. Continue. Okay, this is the construction line. Similar, I'll create that uh, wire actually the cross section of that wire cross sectional dimension is like this but uh, from this construction line from the center how far this should be placed this should be placed half the diameter of the helix that's 50 that means it should be placed at 25 from this line so how do i measure that since i do not have a line here let me create a line. Let me create a line here. Let me delete. Let me delete this. I have created a line. Now I will create a circle anywhere on this. Since I said this should be, let's take this as a diameter, as a di it has a diameter of 2 mm. So it's 180. So we will say 2, 2 ml. Correct? This 2 ml. And it should be placed at a distance of 25. Since the grid size is too large, that's why it's, uh, it's too small. Here also it's to, it has to be, this distance has to be 25. So it will come very, very close to this line. Now I'm done. I need to delete delete this line. Not the construction line. You better go to trim. Go to this line. This is deleted. Now if I say escape, okay. Now this will this will get revolved around this construction line. If I say 360, it will create a circle of 360. Right. But I need multiple circles. So I will say 360, 100. That means 10 such circles will be created. But for now, they will be created one on the other. But 
I need them at a distance, at a pitch. What is the pitch? Distance per revolution. What is my pitch here? 20 mm. You got it? So I'll say 20. Okay. Oh, nice. So my helical spring has been created. Total 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Why 10? Because I gave 360 into 10. 360, 100 total angle. What was the pitch? Pitch is what is the spacing between the hell? Please, uh, no. Each, the spring, this helix. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we used revolution tool that is there in Abacus. I hope you liked this video. We'll continue on this for some more uh, videos, very short duration videos. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you so much.